students now i am going to discuss about the defects of the eye in the previous video we have uh, seen the structure of the eye and how the vision is formed light rays entering into the outer surface of the eyeball is refracted by cornea so eye lens is basically it's a biconvex lens biconvex lens make sure that the image is formed on the retina only by changing the shape the lens uh, change the propagation of light so this ability of the lens to change its focal length is called accommodation power of the eye so now i am going to discuss about some common defects so let us start with the first eye defect myopia myopia is the common eye defect it is also called as nearsightedness it is a condition in which the near object can be seen clearly while the distance object appear blurred light propagate inside the myopic eye let us see light travels from the near object in a usual way and it is focused on the retina see what happens in the distant object light traveling from the distant object it moves in a parallel right rays light rays entering into the eyeball they converge in front of the retina so this is the reason of the blurriness so now we will find out why the rays are converging in front of the retina larger size of the eyeball is one of the reason of this defect Due to the elongation of the eyeball the distance between the eyeball and the retina is more than the normal case so because of this reason the image is formed in front of the retina the reason may be that the lens is too curved so let us see how can we overcome with this eye defect so now what is the solution it can be overcome with the help of a concave lens this concave lens in front of the eyeball Why do we place concave lens? Because concave lens diverge the light. Diverging rays will be falling on the surface of the retina, not fall in front of the retina. So now let us have quick revision of myopia. Person suffering from the myopia is unable to see distant object. So. light which is entering from the distant object that will converge in front of the retina overcome this defect with the help of the concave lens so when the light rays falls on a concave lens it converges on the surface of the retina in the next video we will discuss hyperopia and presbyopia students if you have not uh, subscribe please subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon thank you for watching the video